sons of bitches are tired of your crap. You commit evil, you're part of an evil system, and we're standing up against you. And the Republic is going to defeat you in the end. Some of us won't make it personally through this, but a lot of us are. And in the end, you are going to be brought to justice for all the kids you kidnapped for CPS, all you CPS workers, all you corrupt bureaucrats, all of you that have had your way with innocent children over and over again who think your evil's invincible. You're not invincible, and God is going to deal with you. And you are cursed to hell! Preserve, protect, and defend. Support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So help me God. So help me God. State sanctioned kidnapping is when a state agency unlawfully removes a child or senior from a family's care by illegally editing court hearing tapes or manipulating the court files. Victims of state sanctioned child abductions. It's difficult to believe how easily and quickly children are removed from their parents without any show of wrongdoing. This amounts to nothing more than a state sanctioned kidnapping. Dockets are doctored. The transcripts had been altered. Fabricated medical evidence. Tapes edited. The altering of trial audio tapes. The audio tapes were criminally edited. Transcript tapes were edited. Judges fixing transcripts. Victims of false allegations of abuse. Evidence of police wrongdoing, of edited tapes, of manufactured evidence. The evidence is being manufactured. Father proves courts edit tapes to remove the evidence that that goes against the judge's ruling. Okay. They know what they're doing. And for them to pretend that they don't know that the records are being altered, these are not stupid people. This is not just overzealous officials claiming to err on the side of caution for uh, children's welfare. They, this is a systematic confiscation of children from their parents. The desire to protect children, of course, is a noble desire. However, what, has turn, what this has turned into is an industry. The stories you've seen here may seem fantastic. In fact, they are very common and almost routine. There's no penalty for government lawyers who incite their witnesses to commit perjury. There's absolute immunity for prosecutors that, that could make conduct illegal and prosecute with the full force of government to, to, to create crimes. A, set, a new set of crimes. It creates civil orders without rights, without your rights because you weren't there. We often have what's called an ex parte hearing. That means one where only one side goes in and the other side doesn't get any notice, has no idea that there's a hearing going on, and doesn't even show up because they don't know what's happening. And the incestuous nature sort of, of how the courts and the custody evaluators and the party that's being favored by those professionals in the court system kind of collaborate together. Children, but in some cases the elderly, are effectively confiscated by uh, court officials. Their estates are plundered. I was put on trial by federal court. I was sentenced to six months in jail. And I faced a relentless series of charges. Just two words, federal money. So the incentive is not to keep the child in the home. What you have now in this country is a situation where the judiciary and the, and the bar are working together to run a criminal racketeering enterprise that is extorting money from people under color of office. The courts are a criminal enterprise to get money, federal dollars, from the federal government. The entire justice system has basically collapsed. Is this a racketeering scheme? It certainly is. It's racketeering, it's extortion, there's a whole bunch of crimes that are going on. And you have, you have judges that are accountable to no one. We're standing in front of the Bill Ricca House of Correction where I was wrongly incarcerated for most of the five and a half months until my mother was able to remortgage the house to come up with the $50,000 cash bail that was required. Uh, if you don't pay us this $150 per hour for the next five years, uh, we're going to take the kid away from you. That's, that's a little bit more of, a, of an extortionistic demand because that results in money going directly into the pockets of the private individuals and agencies, private individuals and agencies who are uh, benefiting from this public process and using their authority as governmental agents to 
to extort money out of out of a parent. I not only discovered that the courts edited hearing tapes, but I discovered the motivation behind their doing these criminal acts, and that is massive federal funding. The entire judicial system is corrupt. They lost for gold. Your vote is sold. Take back the soul of our nation. What they do is they offer the state a bribe or a federal incentive to be involved and conduct themselves in such a manner. Well, does it create statistics? Is it meant? I don't know that it's meant to create statistics, but it creates cases. And if cases create the grants, then so be it. For every child who is removed from the family home, there are 25 service providers who derive their livelihood from that child's removal. They have a vested interest in maintaining their income. They have a vested interest in maintaining their practice child abuse by public officials. The worst abuse I've experienced is at the hands of the government and the worst abuse my, my child has experienced is at the hands of the government. That's the only abuse that's going on here. Uh, just to get the word out to the public, I filed a lawsuit against the state bar for racketeering. I reported case fixing, criminal activity in a court and I have done 231 days in jail for basically reporting crimes. And. Uh, the consequence was that in secret uh, tribunals, I lost my law license. They took it away, and they would not give me a public trial of the matter. I had my license to practice law uh, suspended without a hearing. All total, I was arrested 26 times and prosecuted, literally thrown in jail and prosecuted. I am attorney Eugene Rona, a Pennsylvania attorney who is in the process of being disbarred by the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania because I accused the courts of criminal misconduct for the alteration of court proceeding. These courts operate in secrecy. They are accountable to virtually no one. They leave, usually leave no record at all of their proceedings. I had to be silenced through uh, serious dis discrediting. In other words, discredit me, you know, this former Girl Scout in every sense of the word, by making me a criminal. They wanted to do anything to see that I didn't win cases. Lawyers who merely reported that their clients tapes were illegally edited, boom, they're gone. Yes. They're terrorized, they're beaten, they're thrown in jail. If I've been beaten, I've been thrown in jail unlawfully, I've been fined $20,000 unlawfully, and I've witnessed other political activists like myself who want to expose this being thrown in jail unlawfully. And then finally, uh, doing everything you could to psychologically destroy me so that I couldn't assist other people and extract what funds I have so that I couldn't defend myself. June Maxim, the other speakers, and I are being victimized by domestic terrorists. Domestic enemies of the Constitution who use terror tactics to destroy and suppress all who oppose them. system and we're standing up against you and the republic is going to defeat you in the end some of us won't make it personally through this but a lot of us are and in the end you are going to be brought to justice for all the kids you kidnapped for cps all you cps workers all you corrupt bureaucrats all of you that have had your way with innocent children over and over again and who think your evil's invincible you're not invincible and god is going to deal with you and you are cursed to hell